Oh my gosh. Look what's here. Kringle 100% Soy Wax Country Edition. Let's get into it. Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a video on the six brand new Kringle Country Candles. Now, if you know me, you know I am not a fan of the Country Candles from Kringle. I have one lonely one left back here, Pineapple Rita that I'm saving to do a fun little comparison video with you guys next week. But I have all six of the new spring candles that just launched yesterday. I wanted to film this video while I wanted to have the candles in time before the launch, but UPS had other plans for me in that sense. So they did just arrive and they're still sealed up in the box. And I figured let's do a first impressions unboxing with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. I've got my trusty unboxing knife here. Is there anything better than the sound of a package being opened for the first time? I don't think so. So we're gonna pop this open. Oh, I'm so excited. So we have some cardboard, an invoice from Jamie. Do you guys know, let's also take a second to show this. Jamie, who packs orders for Kringle, always, if she pours them or if she packs them a lot, there's others, there's Tom, Jamie, from who I know so far, they write little notes in the packages, which I think is just so sweet. So we have six candles in here like this with the egg cartons. And then, will you take a look? <gasps> look how fun this is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, now these are all wrapped up in saran wrap to keep the lids on tight. So I'm going to un-saran wrap all of them and I'll be right back. Now, before we get into the unboxing, well, I already unboxed, but before we get into the review, I have plugged my friends over at Smell You Later Podcast. I will link them down below. It is a podcast all about scent. And I'm obsessed. It's about perfume, candles, shampoo, like you name it. Anything that has a scent, they talk about. They have special guests. I love their podcast. But they always start each podcast with, there's two, there's Sable and Tynan, and they always ask each other, what do you smell like today? And I think YouTube is a great way of connecting with you guys. I love connecting with everybody. And if you're on my channel and you're talking about scent and candles and fragrance, you're probably wearing a fragrance. So I'm going to start introducing in my videos what do you smell like today? Today, I smell like Kaoli's Vanilla 28. This is a new addition to my perfume collection and I am obsessed. It's from the brand Huda, Be Huda Beauty and they are, oh my gosh, I cannot get enough of this scent. I will get more in depth about scent going forward, but I just wanna talk about what do you smell like today? So today, I smell like Kaoli 28. Vanilla. So Vanilla 28 by Kaoli. What do you smell like today? Leave those comments down below. Now let's get into the video. All right, we are going to start right here with Blue Raspberry. Now I have plugged Kringle Candle in my last couple videos because they have so many launches happening right now. And I want to share all that good information with you guys. But something that I know is a little controversial that Kringle has announced is that they have made the switch to 100% soy wax in the country line. I could not be happier. I do not like the country line in general. I don't like the way the paraffin burns. I don't really typically get a great scent or throw from the candles, but I do love the traditional apothecary style jar back to Mike's Michael's roots, obviously with Yankee Candle, with the apothecary lid. But one thing about those large jars from other from that other brand, Yankee, is that they took forever to burn. So he added two wicks and it just never burned right for me. So these are 100% soy wax now, which I've raved about the 100% soy wax in the Kringle line. I have not tried it in the country line. This is the first time that they have ever released a country line 
of soy. So I'm excited to burn these. I'm actually gonna light one up right now after this video. That way we can see what they're like and we can just see the progress. Now I will say, Michael did say to trim the wicks on these guys. I hope he watches this video. I'm not sure if you should also trim them before the first burn, like a normal wick or like the Kringle regular line where you don't have to trim them. So Michael, if you're watching this, leave a comment down below. I know Philly Candleman, he's the only other one that I know that um, also was gifted these by the brand right now. I think Bonnie has one on her way and then I think Melanie too, but I could be mistaken. But right now, when I'm filming this, which is Tuesday at noon, um, Brett over at Philly Candleman, I'll leave his channel down below, has also talked about these candles. So anyway, they are 100% soy wax and they are colored, but they, I am so excited to burn these and see the progress and the changes that Michael has made with Country Candle. All right, first we have Blue Raspberry. Take a look at that. So we have like these jelly candies, this amazing blue wax. And I have the scent, of course, on my computer. Sugared blueberries and a sweet heart of spun cotton candy is enveloped with dazzling sugared crystal woods and vibrant citrus top notes for a pop. So top notes, lime, citron, glazed raspberries, and sweet strawberries, mid notes of sugared blueberries, spun cotton candy, and a base note of dazzling sugar crystal woods and candied musk. So let's see. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, totally what I was expecting because I feel like a blue raspberry, it's very much like a blue raspberry slushy or a blue raspberry like Rita's Ice. Definitely like a raspberry. These are still very, very cold from outside. Oh, this is nice. I will say it's very sweet, very like artificial blue raspberry, but it's obviously what we're going for when we have, I mean, a picture of blue raspberry candies and notes of cotton candy, sugared blueberries, raspberry, strawberry. It does smell just like a very sophisticated blue raspberry slushy. It's really yummy. I've seen a lot of people talk about burning this with like saltwater taffy or like vanilla waffle cone to really create like a carnival theme. And I love a good carnival themed candle session. So I think this is what's gonna happen with blue raspberry. Next up, we have cosmic cupcakes. Now, can we talk about this purple wax, you guys? Oh my God, I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. Now, if you see this discoloration, it is natural. It's something called bloom that's both soy candles and chocolate, like very high-end chocolate, share the same characteristics. So over time, with a change in temperature and just in general, that it will start to get like this discoloration. There's nothing wrong with a candle. You can still burn it as normal. It's just a natural characteristic of soy wax. Now I will say, you don't notice it in the, in the regular Kringle line as much because obviously it's white already. So you're not gonna notice this bloom, but it also blooms too. Super fun. All right, Cosmic Cupcakes reads, this out of this world experience, experience, scent, same thing, opens with a burst of juicy orange, lime zest, and candied lemon. Succulent red berries blend into this confectionery sweet mixture of coconut milk, melted buttery caramel, and cocoa powder, topped with a swirl of vanilla buttercream frosting and sugar crystal sprinkles. That's a lot of notes. So let's break it down. So we have top notes of candied lemon, orange juice, lime zest, and red berries. So as soon as I sniff it, that's what I'm gonna get first. Mid notes of coconut milk, cocoa powder, and buttery caramel. So once I light the candle, those are more of the notes that are gonna come out for me. And then a base note, sugar crystals, and vanilla buttercream frosting, basically at the heart of the scent. That's really what you're going to notice at the base or the bottom notes of a fragrance. So over time, as you're walking in and out of the room, you're really gonna get more of those like buttercream notes. So I'm expecting a very fruity type of fragrance. Ooh, okay. Set memory right here. There is a cupcake shop in New York City, my favorite city in the world, called Baked by Melissa. There are these micro cupcakes. They're literally probably 
the size of a quarter. You need to eat about 10 of them to honestly feel satisfied. It's basically the equivalent of a cupcake, eating 10 of them, or a Drew-sized jumbo cupcake. They do off-the-wall crazy fun flavors, and they had a Fruit Loop flavor years ago. And I was in New York, and I remember when you bit into the Fruit Loop cupcake, you tasted the crunchiness, like, at the bottom of the cereal bowl or the cereal box, but you also got that rich cakeness when you ate the cake. This smells just like that cupcake. Like, if I close my eyes, even though this cupcake is pictured here, my version is, like, bright orange, like the cake itself, and the icing is rainbowed. So, rainbowed like this. To me, I would do, like, really bright frosting because of the Fruit Loops, like the color Fruit Loops, but, oh, this is going to be popular. If you like a cereal scent, if you like Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebbles, any of those type of fruity fragrances, I think you're really going to like this one. Now, I do know with Gourmand, especially bakery, vanilla-based cake scents, they do need to sit a, bit, a little bit longer to cure to really get that really strong fragrance. So I am going to let this sit for a little while to see how it develops over time, but I'm really excited to burn this one. My Gourmand Loving Heart. Chef's kiss. Sticking with a the purple theme, we have coconut blueberry tart. Now take a look at that juicy, juicy label. This sounds totally up my alley. So we have this delicious tart. We have almost looks like a smoothie bowl type of situation going on there with the shredded coconut and a little bit of fresh mint. So this one reads a delectable gourmand scent Yes, that captivates all your senses with its indulgent coconut creaminess and the burst of juicy freshness from blueberries and plums. Cinnamon, velvety caramel, and almond deliver a crust-like warmth that crumbles with sweetness in the background. <sighs> We've talked about how I feel about Coconut Bakery. I feel like Coconut Bakery just adds an extra creaminess and like an extra depth that makes a linear bakery elevated and more gourmand deliciousness. So the scent notes read blueberry, plum, butter, orange, and peach. Mid notes, coconut, cinnamon, jasmine, and raspberry. Base notes of almond, vanilla, caramel, and musk. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is bakery, but it's a very fresh bakery. I picture, obviously, a spring day for a spring collection. This is a spring day. You've eaten very light. You've eaten, like, a salad or a very, like, a grilled chicken club. You're eating very light because it's a warm day. And you're sitting outside to eat on, like, a beautiful patio. And you look at the dessert menu and you see coconut blueberry tart. And you're like, you know what? I want something sweet, but I want it to be light enough that I don't feel full, but I want it to be fresh enough that I feel, or fresh enough that it delivers, like, something yummy, if that makes any sense. I know that's kind of confusing, but it's almost like a coconut blueberry sorbet, maybe because of the picture, with like a light crumble on top. This isn't rich and decadent. So when you see like cinnamon, do not let that fool you. I think the coconut blended with the cinnamon makes this like a very light, almost like a yogurt parfait sort of situation. Even though there's like almond, vanilla, caramel, the coconut really lightens this one up. I'm gonna rub the top with my finger to see if I can warm it up a little bit. This is so good. Yeah, this is really yummy. This one might be my favorite so far. Ooh, I like this. I like how the coconut and the blueberry blend together, but there's also raspberry and peach and orange that the citrus just gives it a little bit of a zing. Oh, that's yummy. This is yummy. If you did not order the coconut blueberry tart yet, definitely try that out. I'm very impressed. Three down, three to go. Now, this one, just based on the name and the picture, I'm thinking it's going to be my favorite even before I sniff them. Cookies and cream cake. Now, raise your hand if you love a Chick-fil-A cookies and cream milkshake. 
There is no better. I mean, I do love a strawberry milkshake, but there's nothing like getting a good Chick-fil-A dinner or lunch, depending on when you wanna eat it, and getting a cookies and cream milkshake after. Let me tell you, there is a distinct smell when you're drinking that cookies and cream milkshake. I hope this is it. Slice into the decadent aroma of chocolate chip and creamy fudge that melts into decadently rich notes of vanilla and praline, ending with smooth hints of tonka bean that will have you wanting another bite. Top notes of chocolate chip, creamy fudge, and whipped cream. Mid notes of milk, vanilla orchid, praline. Base notes of tonka bean, vanilla, and musk. All right, you ready? Oh my gosh. All right, the first thing I want to tell you is this, you smell, and I do not want you to think this as, in a negative way. It smells like artificial hot fudge. Like, that's not what I initially smell, but there's some hot fudge drizzle on here. And it's that exact, like, if you remember the Boston cream pie candle that Kringle came out with, how it had that artificial chocolate note, but you need that because have you ever eaten a Boston cream pie or a Boston cream donut that had like true Swiss chocolate topping? No, it's artificial fake chocolate. And that's what makes it so delicious. This is so delicious and so decadent. I don't necessarily think it smells like cake. I'll be honest, and I don't know if it's just my preconceived notions and my olfactive senses saying, Drew, you want this to smell like a milkshake? So it does, but it smells like cookies and cream ice cream. Oh, this is so good, but like good cookies and cream ice cream. Like you go to like a five-star restaurant and you see deconstructed chocolate ganache cookies topped with frozen vanilla sorbet, something equivalent to, oh, that's cookies and cream, said real fancy. This is real fancy cookies and cream. Oh, the cookies in here. I need to eat whatever cookies Mick was inspired by when he smelled this. Oh, this is so, this is good. Coconut blueberry tart, you got bumped down. Cookies and cream cake is my number one so far. Come on, Brunch Vibes. Grapefruit and rosemary. I don't know why this screams brunch to me. Now, I know he did have a Sunday brunch candle, which I really liked. Was not my favorite. This looks like brunch. So, juicy pink grapefruit and sparkling bergamot are accompanied by earth-grounding wild rosemary. 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 Some lavender and dewy garden greens. So top notes of sparkling bergamot, lemon leaf, and juicy pink grapefruit. Mid notes of wild rosemary. 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 I don't know what is wrong with me with the rosemary today. White lavender, dewy garden greens, and cre base notes of creamy white woods and musk. Kringle? Something that Kringle does so well are like herbal and fresh scents. No one does it like Kringle, so I'm excited. Let's see. Holy strong. This is a strong candle. Whoa. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good. In a totally different way than cookies and cream cake is. It's strong. It is strong. It's strong grapefruit. <sighs> this is so good. There is rosemary in here. It's in the background. Do not be like, ugh, is this going to smell like a kitchen? No. This smells like brunch. This smells like brunch. This does smell like a kitchen candle, though. I'm going to burn this in my kitchen, and I can already picture the way that my house is set up. Like, this is my living room. You go into the dining room, and the kitchen is, like, off to the left. When I use the restroom, which is down the hall... When I walk by the kitchen, if I have, like, a candle or a wax melt going, I can, like, get l little whiffs of it. When I get whiffs of this, it's going to be, what are you making? Because the grapefruit in here is so juicy, you could squeeze it. And grapefruit naturally is insanely strong in flavor, in scent, everything. Like, grapefruit overpowers everything. 
and it is the star ingredient in this too. I almost feel like all the other notes are just like singing in the background. It pictures, do you remember that Christmas video? I'm going on a tangent where that woman is wearing the glasses and she has like the bell and she's shaking and she is dancing and living her best life on the Christmas concert and all the other women around her are just like singing. That woman, she's grapefruit. Everyone else is rosemary, bergamot, lemon leaf. I'm gonna name them all. They're all the top mid and base notes in this fragrance. She is a grapefruit. She is a grapefruit mimosa, hold the alcohol. And she is so good. Oh my God, this is so good. And I know I got sent these, but I'm always honest. I'm not gonna tell you I love it if I don't. I love it. And I would not be a Kringle ambassador if I didn't like some. If I didn't like the brand, I would not be promoting them. I love the brand. So why not promote them and share with you guys why I love them? Grapefruit Rosemary, Sunday brunch in a candle. Last but certainly not least, Sweet Peach. Now, I keep wanting to call this Grilled Peaches because of the picture. Does that not look so good? It's grilled peaches drizzled in honey, little bit of herbs, and some vanilla ice cream. Heaven. So, Sweet Peach reads, A decadent blend of juicy peaches and brown sugar wrapped in warm spice and toasted oats topped with a honey drizzle and whipped cream. Okay, honey drizzle, whipped cream, and apricot nectar are in the top notes. Mid notes are Georgia peach, brown sugar, and nutmeg. Base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, Madagascar vanilla, and toasted oats. Let me just share. There's apricot nectar and Georgia peach in here. I have found candles that have peach always have something else, if they're a good peach, to emphasize the flavor. So peaches are delicious, juicy, fruity. Apricot nectar. That word nectar really gets me because when you think of nectar in a scent, I'm like, when you think of nectar in a scent, I'm giving you all a lecture this morning. When you have apricot neck like a nectar in a scent, it truly makes the scent like you're cutting open the peach and the juice is just dripping down your chin. And because it's apricot nectar, apricots naturally have that same sweetness that peaches do. They're very much in the same family. So I can only imagine... This is gonna smell decadent. As long as it doesn't smell like cat pee, like some peaches do, I don't think it will. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Oh, this is nice. I need a minute. All right, you guys, I've collected myself. This is so good. This is summer. This is summer. I'm totally hoarding this for the summertime. For one, the color, beautiful. Love the peach. This is decadent, succulent, juicy peach. Honey, whipped cream. Oh, my God, yeah. I can only imagine how this is gonna develop when I let it sit and then I burn it. This is so good. I have no words. The peach in here is juicy, fresh from the peach. Do you know in the summertime, I know it's like a tour, the peach truck. It like comes all over the USA where you can order peaches from this truck and they're like the best. Like you go to the grocery store and you buy a peach, but you buy peaches from the peach truck and they are next level peach. Like I even eat those peaches with the fuzz on them because they're so rich and decadent. This is it. And I think the honey, the tonka bean, the Madagascar vanilla, brown sugar, they all just add to a gourmand peach and they add more sophistication. Oh, this is good. If you love a good juicy peach scent, you'll love this. If you're not into peach, don't get it. However, I love a peach and this is delicious. Now comes the hard part, which is ranking them. I would have to say, I would have to say my all-time favorite is cookies and cream cake. Absolutely love, need that. Second, grapefruit and rosemary. I love how strong it is and I love that juicy grapefruit. I'm gonna put coconut and blueberry tart next. 
I love it. It's really yummy, really fruity and bright. I think it's a one and done though. I don't think I need to like burn it all the time. And then we have sweet peach. Honestly, sweet peach and coconut blueberry tart are like tied. I, I don't think I can pick between those two. Cosmic cupcakes, I really like it. Fruit Loop scents are not my favorite scents in the world, but it's done really well and I won't fault it for that. I think it's really gonna be strong and delicious. And then last is Blue Raspberry. Just isn't up my wheelhouse necessarily, but I'm gonna take the recommendation, I believe it was Bonnie, who said burn it with saltwater taffy. I think that will make it delicious and make it a whole vibe, a whole mood, because that is what I wanna create in my home, is a whole vibe and a whole mood. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will link my Kringle code down below. It is DrewYawk15. Or if you just go to Kringle.com slash Drew15, it'll save you 15% on all of these, as well as the Kringle, literally everything on the site. You will be able to save some coin using my code on there. And yeah, I'm super excited. There are some new three wicks. There's also a deal if you spend $125, there is a 12-pack of Daylights that you can get for free. It's a $42 value. You can get absolutely for free. It still works with my code. You just add the 12-pack to your cart, and it'll zero out once you hit $125. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave all the info that I ask down below. I want to know what you're wearing, what you smell like today. Did you order from Kringle? Are you picking up some of these? Or how about... What scents would you like to see from Kringle in the future? Fall is just around the corner. I, I, I know it's literally only going to be March tomorrow, but my favorite season fall is just around the corner, and I would love to see a Palo Santo candle from Kringle. So leave down below what would you like to see from Kringle. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you all so much. Bye, guys.